I'm Dave Donaldson, welcome to Grip Tips. Today we're talking about grip clips. Yep, no other way to do it. Chances are a lot of you already know what these are. Uh, a lot of you probably have them inside of your garage, but they have so many different names that I think it's important to get the terminology down. Um, I've heard four different types of names. I've heard pony clamps, spring clamps, A clamps, and grip clips. Depending on who you ask, this will vary all the time. A clamps does make sense to me because they look like an A. Spring clamps also make sense because they're spring-loaded clamps, and if you go to a hardware store, that's what they're gonna call them. Pony clamps, I'm not quite sure where that name comes from. I think that has something to do with the hardware tool store Pony, uh, or maybe it's just a really fancy hair tie for an equestrian, I don't really know. But grip clips to me make sense the most because we have grips and they use clips. That's really as far as I can go with that one. These can be used in a couple of different ways, from organizing cables, hanging up sheets, or maybe the camera department needs that same beginning or end move to a slider. There are three different types of grip clips that are commonly used and identified by size. You have the number one, the number two, and the number three. We identify grip clips by number because that's exactly how wide they open. The number one can open up one inch, the number two, two inch, three, three inch, you get it. Now on a set, you can find these dangling on a safety cable or a milk crate. So very short episode today, I know, but uh, still very good information for the field. Uh, if you missed last week's episode, I'm actually giving away a furniture clamp, so click on this episode right here and it'll take you straight to it so you can learn all the rules uh, to get entered into that. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, uh, you can direct them right here to my Twitter or in the comment box below. I always read these, so I really appreciate all the feedback that you guys have been giving me thus far. It's been just phenomenal. Uh, and until then, um, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next week right here on Grip Tips.